This is K Basics, video number five, choosing the best title for your ebook. So in this short video, I will go through with you how to choose the best title for your ebook. So the first slide here is about title fields in KDP. So there are three different title fields that uh, you can input information to uh, when you publish your book in KDP. So first of all, there is the title, which of course is the main title for your book. Uh, there's the subtitle, which uh, communicates more information about who this book is for. So really helping readers uh, to decide whether or not your book is something they want to buy. And then the series title, that is there if your ebook is part of the series. And so this is the, the name of the series. So um, the series title would be the same across several books that you have in the series. And Amazon will link your books together in the Kindle store if you are using a series title uh, with volume numbers. So, you know, book one, book two, book three, etc. Okay, so how to pick a title and subtitle. So for both fiction and nonfiction books, go and look at the bestseller lists in the, the category that you're publishing in, in the subcategories and look at the titles that those authors have used and really get uh, an idea of the feel for those titles. So what kind of words are they using? Uh, how do they make the reader feel? Um, are they like nouns? Are they verbs? Um, are they adjectives? So descriptor words, adverbs. Uh, so just start to look at the bestseller titles and then uh, choose a title that um, would fit in with the bestsellers in the niche, in the subcategory uh, that you're targeting. And uh, to let you know the complete title and subtitle that you enter into KDP when you publish your book, you need to have all of that on the cover. So your cover must contain your title and your subtitle in order to be compliant with Amazon's content guidelines. So specific to nonfiction, your title should reflect the solution or the transformation that your ebook will provide to the reader. And it's a good idea to include keywords in the front end of your title and subtitle, which can give a possible edge within Amazon's search algorithm. So for example, if we're doing a book on meditation, if we titled our book Meditation for Beginners or How to Meditate, those would be both be really good titles because first, they highlight the solution that the book is providing to the reader. And secondly, they're both searchable long tail keywords within the Kindle store search. So if you remember on the past video on uh, deciding on your keywords, in the Kindle search bar um, in the Kindle store, amazon.com, you can start writing in keywords there. And then if they appear in a drop down menu, drop down suggestion menu, that means that readers are actively searching uh, for that keyword. So it would be a good one to, to use uh, in your search keywords, or also in this case, it'd be great to use uh, those keywords in your title. And it's best if they can actually be at the front end of your title, because it really helps them lock in with Amazon's search algorithm. So for fiction books, it's best to choose a title that really fits in with the best sellers in your niche. So go and look at the word count of the titles. So you'll see generally there are you know one to four words. Look at the type of words that are used in the titles, the feelings they evoke. So this is going to be the titles, the way they're structured, you know, how they're going to, um, the feelings they're going to evoke in readers. This is going to be different from niche to niche. So you have to go in specifically uh, to the category that you're targeting, uh, into the, the specific subcategory, and look at those titles and see um, what the best-selling titles are like. And you want to choose a title that could easily be up there in the bestsellers. So it would kind of like mesh in uh, with the rest of the titles. And you want to, um, in the subtitle field for fiction books, use keywords that can inform potential readers about the kinds of themes that are contained within your book. So an example um, for a subtitle and a title uh, that could do well for, say, a contemporary romance book would be Obsessed, a bad boy billionaire romance. So in this case, Obsessed is the title, so the main title on the cover, and bad boy billionaire romance would be in the subtitle field, and this is a keyword-rich subtitle. Um, and of course, both the title and the subtitle 
would be on uh, the cover as well. So I hope that was helpful and uh, now you're ready to pick a title for your ebook. I'll see you on the next video. I hope you're enjoying K Basics, this Kindle Publishing for Beginners course, that you're finding it helpful, you're getting a lot of value from it. And also be sure to go into the description and download my book idea to bestseller blueprint. And also join my free community Facebook group. The link is down in the description. And that's where you can come and hang out with me, hang out with a whole bunch of other publishers, ask questions, and uh, be part of this great community. See you on the next video.